Guys, what's going on? I uh, hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are staying safe. So, Salman, we've just seen a lively face-off between Canelo Alvarez and Billy Joe Saunders. What do you make of it? Didn't make much of it. He's, it's going to be like that. He's going to, he's going to, you know, try and intimidate Canelo. But I just intimidate. Uh, I don't think anyone can intimidate. But do you think he got under his skin? Uh, I think so. You think he got under I his skin? I think so. Yeah. Because I think Canelo is the type of guy to bite. Um, not to bite, you mean? No, no. He is going to bite. Like, even in the lobby, he starts swearing and stuff like that at his team. I think that he's, I think that, you know, uh, Billy Joe's under his skin and I think he wants to knock Billy Joe out. Um, and I think, I think even tomorrow when they do the press conference, I think he's going to try to get under his skin and he's going to really try to rile him up, you know. I think that's his tactic. I think that's what Billy Joe wants to do. I think he's going to approach this a lot differently to what other fighters are. You know, he ain't going to play the... Res I don't I don't believe he's going to play the respectful role. I think he's just going to go at him and take it to him, you know, from the press conferences to whatever, whatever they do. He's not going to... He's always going to try, you know, make it uneasy for him where he can. He's going to... Whether that is, you know, just swearing at him, you know, fighting, whatever. He, he's going to do any everything in the press conference to, you know, disrupt Canelo. Um... You know what I made of it? I, I've I've said my opinions on on the live stream. I personally think that Canelo's going to be more riled up, and I and I do think Canelo's riled up in the sense that Canelo wants to knock him out. I think Canelo wants to do. He wants to. He wants to beat. He wants to beat Billy Joe Saunders bad. Um, and I don't think Canelo's the type of guy where he's going to be off his game or he's going to be wild. I think he's going to be very calculated because I think when Canelo goes in that side that ring, he's ice cool, irrespective of what irrespective of what, what the other guy's doing. I'll tell you why. Because the reason why he wouldn't get off his game because his satisfaction would be when he wins the fight. And he knows if he doesn't, if he goes in there reckless against a guy like Saunders who's slick and moves around, it gives Saunders a much better chance. You see, Canelo's very calm, cool, calm and collected inside a boxing ring. He's not somebody that would take his aggression in there and become reckless. I've never, I, I don't think, I know a lot of people saying, well, Billy, jo well, who's really got under Canelo's skin like that? I don't. I don't think it's gonna make. I don't think that's irrelevant. I just think Canelo's that type of guy that when he gets inside that ring, he's gonna do Canelo, because his satisfaction will be to win, not to go in there and aggressive and be wild. His satisfaction will be to do what Canelo does. And although Billy Joe is showing this ice cool confidence, which I believe he is, there are nerves there. Hundred percent. There are definitely gonna be. I don't think there's nerves from Canelo. As much, I'll tell you why, because Canelo isn't going into this fight looking at it as, whoa, I'm fighting a Golovkin, a big puncher, a guy that could take my lights out. That's always more nerve-wracking. When Kel Brook fought Golovkin, I saw Kel Brook was nervous, right? And the reason why he would be, because Kel Brook hadn't really fought at that level and he was fighting a big puncher, a huge puncher, right? And he knew that big puncher could take his lights off. Even when Khan fought Canelo, I remember he was nervous, even though Khan had been in big fights prior to that, he had been in really big fights, not as big as the one that against Canelo, but he had been in big fights before, right? So he was more experienced than a Brook and even a Saunders was, but he was still very nervous because he knew what could happen in that fight. And Saunders, although he, like I said, he's showing high school confidence, there will definitely be nerves there, don't you think? Yeah, of course, you know, it's... He's going to have 70,000 Mexican fans, you know, against him. Of course, there's going to be nerves. But, you know, in this magnitude of fight, you know, there's always going to be nerves. You know what I'm saying? 70,000 fans, that's probably, you know, that's the that's the highest, you know, crowd he's boxed in front of. And, all, and none of them are going to be his fans. Hmm. You know, he doesn't have any support. So he's going into the Lions then, you know. Of course, he's going to be nervous. You know, it's natural, you know, a, a fight of that magnitude, you're going to have nerves. Any fighter any that fight. fights Canelo, any fight, any fighter that fights Canelo, it's just natural to have nerves. But you know those nerves can work negatively, although they can work positively. You know, we, we, just, we just don't know because we've never seen Billy Joe exactly. in that kind of fight. Exactly. Um, it's going to be really, it's going to be great. It's, it's going to be intriguing. But what do you, what, what do you think? What, what, what do you think? Do you think this Canelo's? How do you think Canelo's going to react? Do you think Canelo's going to do Canelo, or Canelo's going to 
go in no, there wild. Canelo's going to fight how he normally fights. Why is he? He's not going to go wild. He's not a wild fighter. You know, he's just going to do what he normally does. Or do you think he's going to be looking for the knockout, like looking for that? Or, I don't or... think he'll be looking for the knockout. Who he's, he's, you know, this guy's a professional fighter. You know, he's not. He's going to be trying to set up a knockout. Yes, he's not just going to be headhunting. No, he's not going to. He's going to be. He's going to. He's going to stick to the game plan. All of this is just. You know, all of this is just talk. You know, he's going to stick to what they've obviously been working on. Do you, do you think Billy Joe inside that boxing ring is going to be taunting him? Like, you know, like he did with David Lemieux, taunting him and... Yes, and if he's having success, then 100%, yeah. If he's not having success, then I don't, I don't think he will know because if he's not having success, it'll look like an idiot to do that. But if he is having success, yeah, I believe, I believe yeah, he will taunt him, 100%. I, I think he will taunt him early on, but I think as soon as the fight starts going in the later rounds and Billy Joe Saunders starts to get tired... I think that's when Canelo will, I think that's when we'll see whether, I, I think it's not the first couple of rounds. I won't be surprised if Billy Joe Saunders, Canelo hits him with a few shots, or Billy makes him miss. And then, you know, he like, you know, does that, that, that what he did against David Lumi. I won't be surprised if he does some of that stuff, but I, I'll, I'll be more interested to see because that, all of that stuff takes a lot of energy. And usually when fighters start to tire, all of that stuff starts to disappear. So it's going to be interesting to see that once all of that, once he goes into the later rounds, is he going to have the same kind of energy to do all of that stuff to taunt Canelo? Because I do believe he will be looking to taunt Canelo, trying to get under his skin. But it's going to be interesting to see if that he has that same energy towards round five, six, seven. Because that's what I'm interested in. Yeah, he might have success early on, but it's front runner stuff. A lot of people have success with Canelo maybe early. Some don't. Recently, nobody has. They don't even have success with him early because Canelo comes out and does his thing. Um, but. It's going to be later on in the fight if, because that's where I think Canelo's going to take over and that's where I think Canelo's going to stop him. Um, it's more later on. Now, you know what? You know one thing I will say, and I think you all agree with this, that everyone's got excited and everybody's start. You know, when you get closer to a fight, you start believing, can Billy Joe Saunders do this? Is he going to pull this off? Have you got that kind of feeling? No, not really. I, I've, I've had the same feeling from the offset, to be honest, when this fight was made. I've always had my prediction. Mm. It's, not, it's, not, it's not really but changed. I, I actually think the fight, like, I'm looking at it a lot more closer. And it, it happened even with the Brooke Crawford fight. I'm looking at it a lot more closer than what I was maybe a month, a month and a half ago. I'm looking at it more closely. I'm looking at it and thinking, can he do this? Is he, is he, are we missing something here? You know, and, and usually that happens all the time you know when there's a big underdog and there's a when he gets closer to the fight and especially when the big un, when the big underdog like billy joe saunders has got character and he's showing ice cool confidence like he is you start to get sucked into the hype you start getting sucked into it my prediction's not going to change my prediction is going to stay the same canelo by knockout later on but i have to say that with billy joe saunders the stuff that he's done and the stuff that he said and the way he's acting, you start to believe him. You start to believe, you start to get sucked into the hype that, you know what, can he actually do this? And you start to give him more of a chance. And maybe once the, when a fight happens, if he was to lose, for example, then you say, oh, why, you know, it was all hype and stuff like that. But is Billy Joe Saunders going to be the one that, see, very few guys are able to cause the upset. Generally, the favorite wins. And that's in sport in general. Generally, the favorites go on to win. And Canelo is a big, big favorite here. Right, he's he's a guy that's you know seen these this magnitude. This is not this is nothing new to Canelo. This is Canelo Alvarez. Is this is a normal fight to him, right? This isn't a big fight for Canelo. This is like another just another day in the office, right? Because his fight with Callum Smith was a unification fight. His fight with you know Golovkin was unification. Like he's he's seen it all before. You know Canelo's not Canelo's not entering a new territory. Billy Joe Saunders is entering a new territory because for this, this is the biggest fight of his life. This isn't the biggest fight of Canelo's life. Canelo's fought Mayweather. You know, he's fought the biggest star of the last probably 50, 30, 40 years. May, you know, maybe the last 20 years in Mayweather. So Canelo's seen it all. So this ain't phasing him. This type of, like, you know, he's not, he's not facing him because even Mayweather tried to, Mayweather beat Canelo, but Mayweather was just too good. I know certain people, we've tried to compare Mayweather to Saunders. It's not, it's, you can't compare Mayweather with Saunders. But do you think, do you think that 
Canelo Alvarez is going in is going in there to prove a point. I think he's going in for the knockout one hundred percent. I think he's trained for a knockout as well. Um, Do you think he's doing that because he doesn't want people? No, to I, just, him? I, I just genu I just generally think he's trained for a knockout in this fight. I think he's trained for a knockout. It's nothing to do. Why, with what makes you say that? Just from his training footages, from what I've seen, I think he's he, you know in this in this camp he's he strengthened his legs a lot more. Um, I, I think he's looking for the knockout. I think he wants to knock. I think he wants to knock Billy Joe Saunders out. Um, and his trainers come out and said that's obviously their game plan to stop him late. Um, he's already come out and said that. I've seen it in an interview that that's all. You know, we're looking to you know take it to the body to him early and stop him late. So he's you know they they trained for a knockout. You know, they definitely trained for a knockout. He's coming for a knockout. Um, that's his game plan to win this fight. You know, he wants a knockout. He wants to hit, hit him to the body and stop him. That's what he wants to do. It's exactly what he wants to do. It's so so. Going off his footage, is going. You think Canelo Alvarez wants to go in there to knock Billy Joe yeah. out? Because I, I personally think I, I personally think he's doing it because he wants to prove a point that listen. Because a lot of people are saying if this goes to judges, I don't think he wants the judges to be you. I don't think he wants the, the judges to come into play. I think he wants to prove that listen, I'm just way better than this guy. I'm going to dismantle him and knock him out and not let it go to the judges to show that I'm the clear winner here. Yeah, that's what you know. He he's definitely. All of this, he's going to be riled up more to get a knockout. You know, he wants to prove a point, you know. Certainly when someone's getting in your face and, you know, calling you a cheater, calling you, you know, all sorts of names, you know. Maybe, look, at the end of the day, Billy Joe has a plan, you know. Canelo has a plan. All of this might be in Billy Joe's plan that he wants to do this at the press conference. Whether they, whether it'll win in the fight, we don't know. But if it does, then it, he's a genius, then, isn't it? it? It's just one of them things, you know. But... I just, I, you know, they both have their plan. They both have their tactics, and we'll see on the night who's 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 obviously gonna whose ta whose tactics work better. So leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you think Canelo? Do you think Billy Joe Saunders' mind games are getting to Canelo? Do you think it's gonna have effect on fight night, or do you think it's not really gonna matter? Do you think the better man is gonna win, um, and the, these mind games aren't gonna matter at all? Personally, I don't, I, don't, I don't know until I see Canelo in the ring. I don't think so. Like I said, I don't think Canelo will be affected by mind games. and Because Can Canelo's a, Canelo's doesn't care. Canelo, he doesn't care. He's a very cool, calm custard, cust customer. And he doesn't seem like the type of guy that's going to be worried about a guy calling him a cheater. Or I actually think that's going to make him more determined to win. Um, but I have seen one thing with Canelo. Like even with the triple G situation, when he he gets he gets uh, yeah yeah he does get riled up. If you get into his face, and you know even Jacobs did at the weigh-in, you know we, we we just don't know. But he didn't he didn't affect him in the fight, did no, it? it? Didn't affect him in the fight. So the times he has been riled up, he's actually boxed well. Yeah yeah, against Golovkin the second time. Yeah, he, he took it to Golovkin. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. he wanted to show that I'm the boss. So maybe that might be the case here. Maybe it might not be the case. We don't know stuff. You know, it's a different style. We we just don't know. We don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens. You know, the thing is now. Now it's just a matter of case. They've done their training now. Now it's just a matter of case for them to get into the ring, and then we see. You know, whether Canelo carries on with the train or or, or Billy Joe. You know, if Billy Joe was all hype, we're gonna see now. You know, leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.